Academic Alliance of Dermatology has served the Tampa Bay area for more than 30 years providing premier services and today Dr. V joins me to discuss how they help with the early detection of melanoma. Good to see you doctor. Good morning, happy to be here especially when I talk about my passion. And this is your passion. We've talked a lot about this, and I think it's so interesting to see kind of where this conversation has gone and where the treatment and kind of how we detect, or I say you and your team detect melanoma, because it's so important that we catch it early. And uh, let's talk about how it used to be done and kind of maybe what the... It's, it's a team effort. Yeah. I gathered data over 25 years mm -hmm. from 20 clinics, and I have seen 6,000 cases of melanoma. Perhaps we can see the most obvious melanoma. Yeah, so we actually have some examples of, and this is, I think, maybe what people typically think of, right? These are the obvious melanomas. The lesions, they are large, bleeding, scabbing, ulcerated. These are very obvious. These was the cases that we start diagnosing 25 years ago. But if I go to the next slide, I will show you how we refine it. And we find melanomas that they are totally normal looking, two millimeter size, skin color, all over the place. We have seen the red herring, the black sheep, the ugly duckling. Yeah. We have seen that all. So it's all boiling down to the instinct, the instinct of the physician and the instinct of the patients and on top of that, introduction of a carefully studied genetic background. We want to know the genetics of our patient as deep as we can go okay, and as wide as we can go. Well, and I know that you and your team has really done a lot of research on this and some, found some pretty surprising things, pretty fascinating things about genetics of people and where one family can maybe have something that it shows up generations later in the same spot. The next slide will demonstrate that yeah. and it's very, very impressive. Here we can see a single spot, which is very obvious, something we call a blue mark, but we call it like a signature body mark and we see that in six children of the same family. Wow. Then our theory is, then perhaps this apply with melanoma. Okay. And any time we study a family with melanoma, we want to know the exact anatomic site where the melanoma it was. Because that right there was just an example of a mole. It wasn't necessarily... It was a mole that is not a melanoma, but these help us understand the concept of genetics. Yeah. And when we prove that this applies for this type of mold, then we have proven that it applies for the location of melanoma. We found families up to four generations. We find the melanoma on exactly the same spot or in symmetrical spot or wow. in analogous spot. Well, and we have another, another diagram to show as well, because I know that you really kind of study that and where the lines go on the body and where they kind of pop up. Absolutely, we are all really tigers in our heart and our skin. You see the waves they go. Every part of the skin is created as a segment. We call it blush lines. And we have demonstrated that certain blush lines, they are more prone to have melanomas. This is a world-class research. Mm -hmm. was presented at the Olympic Games of the Dermatology in wow. Milano last year. Well, you know what, um, I, I'm just so thankful that we have you in the Bay Area, you and your team, because again, I have seen firsthand that this is your passion and that you are saving people's lives right here in the Bay Area. So if people have questions and, and maybe wanna talk about their genetics, what would you have them do? What's the first step? Study and unearth every skeleton in the closet. Okay. Learn about uncle Joe. Did he <laughs> have prostate cancer or melanoma? Then come with your data to us and we're gonna be able to hone down really which system, which organ we can look carefully. And what we have learned in dermatology applies for the rest of medicine. It's wow. not just dermatology. Right. I see that repeated in every other organ. Dr. V, thank you so much again. Always such a pleasure to speak with you again. You can go to our website for more information as well.